every small village has its tickle tattle, so let's see what's twitching the curtains in West Sussex. Welcome to Hassex, a village alight with gossip after the arrival of a mysterious flame-haired beauty. Um, well, everything changed, I think, when she turned up. Her beautiful hair, her eyes are just big and brown. It's a classic menage a trois, and this is the man at the centre, pet shop owner Steve Eddington. The new lady in town wanted him, and Steve's wife had no say in the matter. Oh, she's very much a diva. Yes, and she's very cheeky. So who is this brazen hussy? It's Miss Snooks. And she's cast quite a spell on Steve. She's just beautiful. You know? you, I, I love her to death. You know, was, I would never leave her. This is the other lady in Steve's life. And in my life as well. <laughs> Miss Snooks was brought into Steve's pet shop six years ago after being abandoned as a cub. She was cold, so you know the first thing they have to do is warm her up. She responded, you know, very quickly. You know, she she wanted to live. And once inside, she wasn't going back. Miss Snooks ignored the call of the wild and kept sneaking into the shop through the cat flap. Today she's a kept woman and has her own one-bedroom flat above the shop. Miss Snooks's luxuries are a television, radio two. Um, she's got her own three-piece suite and her own recliner. Yeah, it's her, her home. Not every fox would take to being domesticated. There are no days off, there are no holidays, you can't go away and leave them. You know, they are nocturnal, so you must be up to them late at night. And if you are going to be up all night with your mistress, you'd better be sure of an understanding wife. I've locked up now, I'm off. Steve is upstairs with Snooks. He'll be here for quite a few more hours yet, but they're having fun together. People say it's a bit weird, and it's like you're having another woman. But they're happy, and well, I'm happy. I'll have to have a glass of wine. <laughs>